All right, well, we just finished up this JL, and this is Randy, but Randy, whose Jeep is this? This is my wife's Jeep, Susan. You don't see that very often. No. Uh, I mean, what what do you got? What size tires you got on here? 39s. So 39 BFG KM3s, Hutchinson, DOT legal, DO, uh, double bead locks, and uh, why was it just here, Randy? Uh, had you install the, your long arm kit and the PSC power steering on it. So you guys, assist. you guys have had this thing since 2021, right? 20. 2020, yeah. and it's a six cylinder JL Rubicon, uh, fully loaded basically, right? Correct. And then over the last three years, you guys have been just upgrading, 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 right? Yeah, correct. So tell me a little bit about the Jeep. So what axles you got in here? Ultimate Dana 60s. So you got Ultimate Dana 60s and three and a half inch- uh, Metal cloak lift. Metal cloak springs on here. So it did have a short arm kit and it came in this time for an upgrade. We went to the long arm kit, right? Correct. So it's got our new WFO uh, JL long arm kit now. And you already had good shocks on this, right? So yes. you have the Fox uh, two, two and a half inch and diameter half inch. Um, with the compression adjusters, Correct. high speed and low speed. Um, just got done test driving this thing. It rides amazing. And you can't hear a single rattle, squeak, creak or anything in there. So one of the cool things, I remember we put these on about a year ago. Uh, these are the Rockside Engineering Electric Steps. Correct. And uh, us hardcore off-road guys wouldn't choose to do that. But now our Jeeps are not only daily drivers, you know, our wives, our kids, yes. everyone gets in it. But and we go wheeling, so that's the best of everything, right? Yes. Um, and we just added the quarter-inch skids right here to the outside of the Rockside Engineering Steps. So they're ready to go hit the trail. And Randy, you do wheel this thing, right? Yes, we do. Well, I shouldn't say you, you I and don't. your wife. Yes, my so wife does the driving. She does. And uh, you guys hit trails like Rubicon. Rubicon, Sarah Trek. It's so been Ford Ice, you've been on Ford yeah. Ice from the river up, yep. which is past Windshield 3. Like there's some hardcore wheeling yep. and the Jeep looks beautiful still. Yeah, been to Moab with it once, Sand, Sand Hollow with it once. So these are the kind of Jeeps we like to see, the ones that you can get in it, drive it every day, enjoy it, wheel it. Um, but still go to hardcore trails like yes. those that's in the western united states those are all the the key trails right yes so something else we did here up front on this last stop is we added our new 7075 aluminum tie rod to it and then right underneath here you can hardly see it uh the psc hydro assist ram so in these jls very hard to fit the ram like always um, so we tucked it right back here underneath the tie rod and it actually mounts to the tie rod end over here instead of clamping to the ram uh, these tabs mounted to our uh, uh, two and a half ton tie rod ends with replaceable cartridges that go into our two inch solid 7075 tie rod so the tie rod can be adjusted without loosening the clamp or unhooking the ram right um, and you know, a lot of people don't realize that putting hydro assist on a JL is not an easy task, right? So it's not just adding the ram in a steering box. It's basically taking the whole front of the motor off. So this is the 3.6 non e-torque motor, right? Right. So we removed all the pulleys and, and belts off the front of the motor, added the PSC pump, added a new belt to now turn the pump, remove the electric pump, uh, reservoir, cooler. So it is a big project. Um, I know you guys wheeled it a little bit with the 40s and no hydro assist. How was it? It sucked. I shouldn't say 40s. They are 39s. They're nice. but it, yeah. it sucked. You can't turn it. If it's locked, you cannot turn the wheel. Yeah. If you hit the front locker at all, it yeah. will not turn. It will so, not turn. You're going whatever direction they were pointing. You know, I tested it while we were driving around the shop, even on the pavement. Lock it. Take the finger on the wheel. One turn with the hydro assist. Right. So. Um, it's kind of a must when you got one tons and 40s. Oh, yeah. um, and my wife's not real big, so she's a little woman. She needs all the help she can get. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, real quick while we're here, tell us a little bit. So you got metal cloak fenders, right? Correct. So metal cloak fenders. Uh, what front bumper is this? Uh, addictive Desert Design. That's what I thought. This is the ADD bumper, and uh, it's kind of curved, sinks in LED light here. Yes. Um, winch mounts in there nice and tight. I actually really like this bumper. I noticed you have... Baja Designs lights, is that all throughout the whole vehicle? Yes, except for, I think the so, fronts are rigid. 
So these are both the Baja Designs? Design. Yeah, somewhere on the oh, rear. this is the, Baja Designs as the well. The backup lights are rigid. Okay, yeah. It's an addictive desert design rear bumper. But you got they the, put a rigid you got the A-pillar lights up there. Um, high lift on the hood. And then, oh yeah, so you have the ADD rear bumper with the Genrite tire rack. Yes. Yep, and this is all aluminum, right? Correct. Yep, and then license plate and camera mount up there. You're, you're a CJ guy, right, Randy? I'm a CJ and Willys. Yeah, so we, you have a CJ7. I have a CJ7, I have two 46, two A's, and I have a 42 MB. So you're, you're a man after my heart. Yeah. I love that. And huh. I'm looking at another one to buy right now, another 46. I like it. Well, this is still a pretty nice Jeep that Susan has, <laughs> your wife, and uh, we enjoyed working on it. So thanks for talking with us, Randy. Thank you. All right.